Good evening and welcome to Only Connect. A lot of people say that these intros are the worst part of the show. I'd like to say to those people, wait till you hear the outro at the end this week. Joining me tonight are, on my right, Simon Keeley, an anthropology graduate who broke his ankle skateboarding in Parliament Square. Danica Neeson, a social worker who enjoyed a day at the races with Ernie Wise. And their captain, Blake Patel, a civil servant who eats cottage cheese every night before bed. United by an affection for Animal Farm, they are the Orwellians. You won your opening heat against the Junipers. Was it harder or easier than you thought it would be from watching it on TV? Uh, a lot harder, but a lot more fun. And um, it's just great doing it here with my two teammates. I often watch alone at home. So really nice to have two people quizzing with me. A lot of our contestants spend a great deal of time alone. It's very nice to come here and just socialise a little it bit. Is, it is. Good luck. You were playing tonight on my left. Bob Walsenholm, a voiceover artist who was born on the same day as Dar O'Brien and has the same shoe size. Katie McCorkindale, a philosophy graduate who stands on her head every day. And their captain, Yasha Elliott, a grants manager who used to work in a juggling equipment factory. All cheerful cheddar fans, they are the Cheerophiles. In your heat, you got points for Tricolor without knowing why. Have you looked at the flag of Belize since that game? Oh, yeah, I've been studying flags uh, non-stop since then. Excellent stuff. Two teams who have not yet lost a game. One of them will tonight, but nobody's going home. Winner goes to the quarterfinals and the loser gets another chance. So playing for sheer fun, if such a thing were possible here, let's quiz. Chirophiles, you won the toss, but you've decided to put your opponents in first. So, Orwellians, please choose a higher level. Let's go... Honored Viper, please. OK. What is the connection between these apparently random clues? Here's the first. I don't know. Next, please. Um... Wacky Babbo usually boxes around Mr. Wheels. Is that what it means? As in... Is there some kind of... Um... Yeah, I think so. Next, please. That's in the song, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But... Next, please. Yeah. Oh, OK. Um, these all happen in the introduction, the intro to the film slash song. If that is true of some of the clues, but not all of them, I'm afraid. So it's a bonus chance for you, Chirophiles. Uh, they're left-handed. They do it left-handed. They do it left-handed. What can you tell me about the clues we're looking at? So, uh, in the first one, Rocky Balboa is a southpaw. Mm -hmm. uh, Arya Stark uh, is taught to fight uh, uh, left-handed. Uh, Ziggy played left-hand, but played it too far. And in the why song. is that an interesting choice from David Bowie? He's right-handed, isn't he? He's left-handed, well, he was left-handed, but he played his guitar right-handed. Uh -huh. So David Bowie played with his right hand, but in the song, Ziggy Stardust plays with his left hand. And Bart Simpson, you do see that in the opening credits. He's writing his lines on a board and he does that left-handed. Well done, Chirophiles, for the bonus. And what would you like for yourselves? Uh, lion, please. Lion. These are going to be picture clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, next, please. Next, please. Is it starfish? Oh, they're, they're, they're called fish, but they're not fish. It's a crayfish, a cuttlefish, and a starfish. Okay. Fish, okay. But not fish. Yeah. Uh, these are things that are called fish, but aren't fish. That is absolutely right. What are we looking at, Bob? Uh, so it's a crayfish, a cuttlefish, a starfish, and a jellyfish. A jellyfish, exactly. So they're species of animal that have fish in their names, but they are not, in fact, fish. Well done. Orwellians, what would you like next? Uh, can we have water, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Um. Sure. Next, please. Next, please. Um, I don't. I don't have anything. No, nothing. Two seconds. Good luck. 
Uh, the United States of America. Very good guess. Not the answer, <laughs> I'm afraid, but good to give it a go. Chirophiles, do you know? Uh, are they antonyms of popes? They are the opposite of papal names. So there's 1 in... to 13 Pope Innocent, yeah. changed to guilty. Mm. 1 to 3 Popes... Uh, there's 1 to 3... Is that...? No, that can't be that. So rural is urban, mm -hmm. inclement is clement. Mm -hmm. And then Liz, a Vinci, Vincio, Vincia, Vinci? Victor. 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 Oh, Victor. There yeah. are three popes, Victor, oh, yeah. and one to 14, Pope Clement. And what's the best papal name? Bob. France. <laughs> no, but there isn't one. <laughs> no, the best one is Hilarious, Pope oh, Hilarious. Yeah, that yeah. was the best one. There's only ever been the one Pope Hilarious. So another bonus, know. very well done. And which question would you like? Uh, twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. He was born in Kennington. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Oh, there is a statue of him, James Brown. There isn't a statue of him around anywhere. Uh, next, please. Claire Chancesky had a whole square named after him. Godfathers. Of... Godfathers. Uh, uh, next, please. George Michael. Did, but they were born on Christmas Day or died on Christmas Day. Or... Oh, I don't think so. They were born and died on the same day. I don't think no, George Michael's birth is in July. Yeah, anything? Um, go, go. Two seconds. Uh, they were all born on Christmas Day. They oh. were not. No. Orwellians, bonus chance for you now. Did they all die on Christmas Day? They all died on Christmas Day? Uh, yes. They all <laughs> died they on all Christmas died Day. Do oh. oh. you want to have a go at the dates? Chaplin was in the... 70s? 1977. Okay. James Brown? Uh, 2008? 2005. 2006, pretty close. Oh. Ceausescu? Late 90s? No, it was 91, I think. No, earlier still, 1989. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, convicted, of course, on Christmas Day and immediately executed by a firing squad. Merry Christmas mm. uh, for him and George Michael in 2016. Do you want to try giving me a few names of people who were born on Christmas Day? No, it's not any of these people. Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart was born on Christmas Day. Very good. Born. Annie Lennox. Annie Lennox. Mm. Jesus. Allegedly. Well, six sort of. Well, <laughs> well, Jesus was definitely born on Christmas Day if you say that Christmas Day wasn't definitely the 25th of December. Okay. Yep. I mean, if it was Christmas Day whenever Jesus was born, then yes. Very good knowledge. Sadly, not converted into points for you there. I'm sorry. Back to you, Orwellians, for a choice. Um, could we go two reads, please? Absolutely. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Uh, Doesn't help me. Yeah. What's that in Spanish? Mm -hmm. uh, next, please. Oh, that's Dolce Latte. Yeah. yeah they want to cheese this one. Could be. Dolce Latte is definitely the cheese. Okay. Next, please. Oh. We're going to say they're all names of cheeses. They are all names of cheeses. Can you be any more specific? Uh, Dolce Latte, sweet milk. Yes. Beautiful country, I don't know. Bella Rustica. <laughs> <laughs> Let me move over to the cheese <laughs> team. I, I, I saw something realised we've got a question about cheese and I you're know. the Turofel. Yeah. It's lucky you didn't get that. Wow. It looked a bit crooked. Can you translate these names? Bella Paese. Bella Paese, yes. Paese. Yeah. Yeah. Small cut, piccolo. Small you know, cut it's, it's, it's a different way of making small. Mozzarella. Uh, Mozzarella ah, and grain yes. from the Po Valley, Grana Padano. Oh, so they're all yeah. names of actually <laughs> Italian cheeses oh. translated into English. Maybe this should have been a cheese quiz. Good cheese knowledge for you, and you're the cheese team. Yeah. Yeah. One question remains, the eye of Horus. It's the yeah, music yeah, question. Yeah. What do these clues have in common? Here's the first. Have you got anything? Is it big country? It's one of those... It's, it's, it's like, I'm sorry, I think it's... it's uh, uh, next, please. Was down in Cheney County. I don't know what this is at all, but it's still not with his lady by his side. Uh, next, took please. Born on a mountaintop in Tennessee. This is the green that stayed in the land of the free. Cook it. 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 Cook it.
it is to do with America, but it's a bigger area than California and a smaller area than all the states. It's the Wild West. We had uh, Aaron Copeland's Billy the Kid Sweet, John Wesley Harding, The Ballad of Davy Crockett, and Just Like Jesse James. That was Cher Wild West figures. That means at the end of round one, the Orwellians have two points, the Chirophiles have four. <laughs> Sequence is time now, and Orwellians, you'll be going first again, so please choose a hieroglyph. Twisted flax, please. They're twisted flax. So you'll be seeing the first in a series of clues. What would you expect to come fourth? Time starts now. Um, second of May. Next, please. Could be vowels, but I don't um, know. Doesn't correspond to any moves in the text. No. Next, please. Um. Yeah. Is it duck dip diving or something? Is that a thing? Yeah, I don't know. Go. They're five five whale. And why would that be? I don't know. There's something in my head. <laughs> it's, it's always good, good to say thing. those ones. It's surprising how many times already in this <laughs> series people have had a random guess and it's been right, but not in that case. Chirofiles, do you know? 5-5 uh, five, five, Dodge. Dodge is the right answer, and why is that? They are the five Ds of dodgeball in the film Dodgeball. So That's exactly dodge, right. Dip, dive and dodge. That's right. So yeah. the first rule of dodgeball is dodge, and the fifth is dodge. Yeah. You ever played dodgeball? Yes. Have you? I, it, I used to work in Japan, and it's a game you play with kids. <laughs> um, in, so before I started classes some days, I used to go out and play a game of dodgeball. Well, I tell you what, it's these kind of experiences that really build up the meat and bones of a quizzer. Very good yeah. dodging knowledge. And you also win the chance to choose a question. Which would you like? Uh, lion, please. Lion, OK. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Could be expressed as letters as well, possibly. Uh, next, please. H E B H. No, those can't. Four and six. They're all um, divisible Guns. by four. So yeah. Be... Uh, next, please. Twenty-eight. So actually, if you divide that by four, we get one. So twenty-eight. I say it's seven, but it's not, is it? So. Um, twenty-eight days. Eight. If you put them all together, eight, one, two, eight, four, one, six. Let's go seven, just because you're divided by four. Seven. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Or Williams, do you know? Six. The answer is six. And why? Are they the perfect numbers? They are oh, perfect numbers. Okay. They are all divisible by four, but the next one isn't six. What is a perfect number? Is it when the factors multiply together to give the number itself? It's the sum of all it's, its factors it's apart from itself. So. The factors of six are one, two and three. If you add them together, you get six. So coming downwards, six would be the next perfect number. Well done. So a bonus over there now. And what would you like for your question? Can I have I have Horace, please? Yes, you can. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Um. <coughs> next, please. Hmm. See, Prime Minister's... Sequence. Next, please. Oh, Bergs. Um, is that Berg with a H at the borough? Um, something with a, but it's B R O U H, isn't it? So something with a borough, actual borough. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Peter. Exactly the answer we had ourselves. And why is that? Um, so B U R G at the end of Hamburg, mm -hmm. then you add an H to get Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. you add an R to get Middlesbrough, mm -hmm. and then add an O. Is that right? Yes. To get Peterborough. Peterborough, <laughs> exactly so. So they are all places that you can add br to make the name, but you're adding a letter each time. Berg, berg, her, br, borra. <laughs> Perfect pronunciation, I think. <laughs> well done. Back to you, Chirophiles, for a choice. Uh, may we have water, please? Yes, you may. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Perseus. So it's the son of Andromeda and Zeus, isn't he? So it's either the Kronos or Andromeda. Okay, next, please. Or Uranus. Uh, so she was dead, wasn't she? Yeah, but, yeah. And he also pretended to be her, uh, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he did, yes. Pretended to be his grand. Next, please. But we also need to get half sister. Oh, gosh, yeah. 
Here's Bobby Beale. I don't know, I think it's someone in the East London. So Bobby. would it be a... So then it might be a daughter of somebody that's... Go for it. ...dead? Yeah. So... No. A daughter that's dead. A daughter that's dead. <laughs> I don't it's know why. really horrible. <laughs> I don't think yeah, I can take right, that yeah. answer, I'm afraid. Or oh, Willens, do you want to have a go for a bonus? Uh, I've got to say, son of Darth Vader. And why would that be? Spoiler alert! Why would that be? <laughs> um, these are people who've killed the person and their relation to them getting going down. The, the generations. I yeah, suppose. going down the generations. What are you saying? Darth Vader does, God, does Darth Vader kill his child? He's he was killed by his child. Him. Oh, I'm afraid that's not right. And uh, apologies to viewers who are shouting yeah. at the screen. You know I haven't seen Star Wars. You know I haven't. I never have. No. We need someone that killed their children. So, Perseus killed his grandfather. Norman Bates, spoiler alert, killed his mother. Bobby Beale is a character in EastEnders yeah. who killed his sister Lucy. So we're going down the generations. You want someone that killed someone the next generation down. Could be a nephew or a niece. We've got the children of Medea. And uh, it turns out, in a shock twist, Darth Vader did not kill his child, but I know the child is one of the characters in the thing, <laughs> um, but not one that he kills. So I'm afraid you don't get the bonus. But you may choose a question. What okay. would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK. Um, Next, please. Here's the longest. Is that if we go up or down, though? Presumably up. Yeah. Well, the last, last of summer wine? No. That went out for ages, isn't it? Um, I don't know what it is. Yeah, go on. Next, please. Um, that would be. Yeah, it is. What, the they first things on channels? No. It is the, it would be the longest one, but I don't actually know what the longest one program is. Go to summer wine. We're going to say last of the summer wine. A delightful guess, but not the answer, I'm afraid. Two or five, do you want to have a go? Countdown? No, no, no. No, Countdown only started in 1982. Oh, yeah. Countdown doesn't even predate Channel 4. Oh, of course, yeah. Yes. What is the sequence? They're the longest running programmes, but we don't know what the longest running one is. The longest running programme mm. on BBC One started in 1953, once told a story of a spaghetti harvest as an April fool. Panorama. Panorama! is the longest-running TV show of all time. We're going back towards wow. Panorama. One question remaining, the Horned Viper. What would come forth in this picture sequence? Here's the first. Is that a first-class stamp as well? Uh, next, please. Stay control. Is that next? That's ST, isn't it? Unfortunately, it's P-O-P-O. P-O-S-T-N-A-R-K. So where's is R-K? It, it, is it could be, I don't know. Or maybe it's, it's not... Good. Should we get the next one? Yeah. Just OK, to, OK. Uh, next, please. Colchester. So it's codes. Codes. So it's postcodes. So it's, so it's Derby. 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 Yeah. Derby with the first class stamp. Uh, Derby with the first class stamp on it. Is the right answer. And why? Uh, so the postal codes of e or postcodes of each of these places spells out the word postcode in order. Exactly so. P O for Portsmouth, S D for Stoke on Trent, C O for Colchester. We wanted to hear what has the code D E and it's Derby. Bonus question: What island is Portsmouth on? It's Portsmouth on an island. Yeah. <laughs> yes, an island and you people. would know this if you watched regularly it, and were paying attention. Port, you would know. Is it Portsea Island? It is Portsea Island. You would know it if you were listening. If you hadn't <laughs> gone out to get a cup of tea in the middle of last week's show, you would have known that. Very well done. That means at the end of round two, the Orwellians have five points, the Churophiles have seven. <laughs> time now for the connecting wall, and it'll be the Churophiles to go first this time. So you may choose lion or water. Uh, lion, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Okay. Zowie Bowie. Yep. So is this children of Moon and Apple? Apple yep. is also a kid. No, it's Moon Unit is all one, isn't it? For yeah, Zowie so let's not go for that. Yeah, so maybe not. Uh, and then people probably have called their child Saint and Harper. But Harper, Zowie, and the thing you were joking, then look for keep looking for other things as well. Well, hit Moon because we have a key collar unit. Okay, let's have a look at it. Okay, look for other things. Black flag, no. White flag, white collar. Yep, okay. Just. Or blue flag, blue collar, blue moon, no. Nab, to nab. 
Nick. Yeah. Nail something. Yeah. 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 And then to... Collar. Collar. OK, well yeah. done. So that's the rest. Yeah. Now... Go on, you keep going with those. We'll keep looking for other things. OK. Shields. No, I'm just thinking about what the others could be. Do you have a shield? If you're a policeman, you have a shield, but that's not... Yeah, no. No, we wouldn't go. OK, I've got this wrong. Yeah, don't worry, that's fine. I mean, it will be so... So, a corner flag? Oh, no, no, that's saints. Yeah, we've got a flag up there, it might not be. OK, so... Harper Lee. Oh, your uncle? No. Apple Lee, Moon Lee, Shield. Nick, okay, Lee. key. Okay. Okay, so shield. Can you win a shield? Yeah, you can. Win a shield. You can win, win a cap. cap. You can win, win, win a flag, I guess, yeah. but I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay, when, okay. Yeah. Moon. 30 seconds. Okay. Blue moon. Let's go back to your whites and blues. Oh, there's a white key, apple. Key ring. Key. Yeah, key. Key, no, key ring? I don't know if there's an address. Go for it. Just keep guessing things, don't you? Keep looking. It's <laughs> not much in that. Yeah. Um, Ten seconds. seconds. Peter St. Paul St. John. Uncle. Yeah, Uncle Tom. Yes. Oh, yeah, Uncle Tom. Tom. Apple Tom. Yeah. Peter. That's it. The time is up for the wall. Has frozen, but you found a group on that nasty wall. Mm, yeah. What mm -hmm. is the connection? Nick, collar, nab, nail. Uh, they all mean arrest arrest or apprehend. Yeah. Yes. And, of course, you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. There we are. That's how it should have looked. What can you tell me about the green group? Uncle, Unit, Shield, Zowie. Are they names of celebrities on that one? Children. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, children of celebrities. They are so not. No. If you capitalise those words and put full stops between them, you would get the names of fictional oh, organisations. Yeah, yeah. The Man from Uncle, Unit Units from Doctor Who, time. Shield, S H I E L D, the, from the Marvel comics. It's the Agents of Shield. Yeah. And Zowie, Z O W I E, it's the Zonal <laughs> Organization of World Intelligence Espionage okay. from a James Bond parody. So they are names of fictional organizations when you initialize them. And what about that group, Harper, Saint, Apple? Exactly. Moon. I think that's the celebrity is children. Is that celebrity children then? Those are the celebrity children. Harper Beckham, Saint is the child of Kanye West, I think, and Kim Kardashian, Apple Martin, and Moon is uh, Frank Zappa's daughter. Mm -hmm. And the last group, flag, cap, key, corner, you can stone. Them stone. Stone. You were looking for something to put at the end of the words, and it's flagstone, capstone, keystone, cornerstone. So you found one group, you gave me three connections. That's a total of four points. Let's bring back the Orwellians now, give them the other wall, the water wall, see how they get on with solving it. Hello again. You have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. This football team's put from Norwich, Alan Partridge, Canaries, okay. Mustard. So yellows. Oh, yellows, yeah. Um, like Norfolk, I don't know. I guess yellows would be lemon. Yep. There's quite a few sweet yeah. corn, sweet corn canaries. Could be mustard or something like that. What else could be? Yellow from? cartoon characters. Um, Perfect, yeah. um Associated with Norwich. Yeah. So leather clog, Alan Partridge, canaries. Mustard. Anything else that we can think of? Um, I guess these are going to be surnames, aren't they? Duffy, Alan. I can't think who. Uh, Keith Duffy, Keith Allen, Keith Moon, yeah. Keith Lemon. Nice one. Um, cow. What's cow? Um, lilac. Is a flower, yeah. but nothing else is. It's a colour. Oh, okay. So potato eaters, lilacs, yeah. sunflowers, and I don't know something else that's to do with uh, Van Gogh. Yeah. Obviously not SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Three lives, ten seconds. Anything quickly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh, you saw football. Only two seconds to go. Incredible. Incredible. So that's an immediate four points. Oh, my heart's beating. What about the connections? Lemon, Alan, Moon, Duffy. These are Keith. They're all famous people called Keith. And the next group, Potato Eater, Lilac and so on. These are Vincent van Gogh paintings. They are the subjects of Vincent van Gogh paintings and they appear in the title. It's not the whole title, I think it's a pair of leather clogs, the cows, but in the singular, right. they are subject of van Gogh paintings. Alan Partridge, Canaries, Julian, Mustard. And he sings associated with Norwich. Yes, and it was the first thing you said. Yeah. Yeah. After about two seconds, you never went back yeah. to it, yes. And the last group, Sweet Corn, Big Bird, Sunflower, Spongebob Squarepants. These are yellow things. They're all yellow yeah. things. So four more points for the connections and the bonus. That is a maximum of ten points. Very unexpected well twist. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The Chirophiles have eleven points. The Orwellians have fifteen. So a great wall has turned things around for the Orwellians, but they could turn back with the horrible missing vowels round. Fingers on buzzers, teams. I can tell you that the first group are all cat phrases. Four Williams. Curiosity killed the cat. Correct. Chirophiles. Let the cat out of the bag. Correct. Chirophiles. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Yes, they will. Four Williams. Raining cats and dogs. Welcome to Cardiff. Next category, dog phrases. Chirophiles? Shaggy dog story. Correct. Chirophiles? Sick as a dog. Yes, it is. Chirophiles? Every dog has its say. Correct. Chirophiles? Raining cats and dogs. Welcome to Cardiff. <laughs> Next category, a class of animal and its largest living species. Four Williams. Birds and ostrich. Correct. Four Williams. Fish and whale shark. Well done. Four Williams. Reptiles and saltwater crocodile. Yes, it is. Four Williams. Mammals and blue whale. Correct. Next category, Retro Sweets. Jurafiles? And a sweet ball. Language. <laughs> it's the end of the quiz, and after some brilliant answering from both sides in round four, the Jurafiles finish with 18, the Orwellians have 21. So, very well done. You warmed up over the course of the game and you are through to the quarterfinals. Excellent stuff. Chirophiles, I'm delighted to say you are not out. You're all brilliant quizzes and you'll get another chance to win through to the quarterfinals later in the series. Thanks very much for watching. And before we go, I've actually got a correction to last week's episode, if you bear with me. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulphur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, plus trace elements is actually what little girls are made of. <laughs> I dropped the ball there. Goodbye. <laughs>